All right, guys, we have a package. <laughs> I'm about to use the miracle blade to get into it. Um, let's see what we got. All right, guys, we have this uh, Secane stereo extension thing. And I uh, just wanted to check one of these out. Not the best uh, solution for everybody, but today's market with the vehicles that we have today and the way stereos are being heavily integrated with functional controls people aren't wanting to modify them or replace them something like this has a use case which uh, might be a solution for a lot of people and this little guy here, we're going to check out. And the first thing you notice right off the bat is this little screen. And it's got double-sided tape, although it's kind of peeled up right there. And I'm not sure how well it's covered. We're going to give that a, a, a C, maybe a B-. minus. Because that's uh, kind of important that you can stick it down. And this is all a bit jacked up. So, but I digress. You have little screws back here where you can tighten that up, I guess. And that's got some pretty good stiffness to it. For most people, this is totally fine. Uh, for a hardcore base head with big subwoofers, might be a little loose, but... Those screws should allow you to tighten that up and get some more friction there. And you mount that bad boy down on your dash. Hopefully, the tape sticks. Let's we'll see what else we got in here. Because there is an interesting kit in this box. The next thing we'll pull out of here is this harness here which enables you to plug this in to a power source here, plug this into the stereo, and also, I'm not sure, but there's more plugs attached to this. This allows you to get power for this, for this head unit, this thing, which isn't necessarily hardwired in. You can, but you don't have to. That's one of the beauties. This guy here is a backup camera. So that gives you the, you know, backup camera functionality. And pretty sure that's going to plug into there. So there's that. This here is a patch cord. I'm not sure what the purpose of it is yet. And we got a couple of little tiny screws. Not sure what they're for. Uh, this is interesting. So, there are zero instructions, zero diagrams. The screws is the last thing in here. Is there one of those deals where you scan it and you can go on the website and get instructions? No, there's not. So, hmm, interesting. It shouldn't be too complicated for someone who does car audio stuff, but for someone who's clueless and just wants to, to do this themselves, you get what you get. Now, other than those two little tiny screws in there, this is what comes in the package. 
And of course, this thing attaches to your dash so that you cut the screen. This plugs into a cigarette lighter or a power port uh, so that it has power. You don't have to do any cutting or fabricating or, you know, anything like that. This guy, I'm pretty sure, uh, it allows you to uh, send a signal out from an aux out on a stereo system straight into this so you can avoid the uh, FM transmitter. This has an FM transmitter in here to allow it to transmit over the FM frequency into your existing head unit. So that's how you get your sound from this guy to your head unit. Then I think, see that's not labeled. It's not labeled here. Okay, so this plugs in back here in the type C. There's a memory card back here. There is a hole and there's another hole. That one might be like a reset or something. This, that definitely works with this. Okay, so that works. Okay, this hole here, I think is for this. This is a smaller pin. So there, yeah. All right. So that's how your camera gets its signal to the radio. This is for connecting your aux out from your phone or from your stereo into this. <clears throat> this gives you power and a, uh, a plug for your phone or whatever. Uh, and then I'm not really sure about why there would be that also, unless that's another aux in. I think there is maybe two aux ends. So, yeah, it's confusing a little bit, but I've got my head wrapped around it. Uh, so these are the three components you need. You don't actually need this one unless you're doing the aux end deal, but you need this. This is a standard issue camera configuration. What we have here, we have one red wire. So, I'm going to guess that this is for a trigger, so it needs to be on a uh, a reverse light um, somewhere to give you that trigger to tell it when to turn uh, that camera to switch the screen over to this camera so you can use it as a back. All right, guys, we're out here at the old truck and uh, with the Sakane radio. And this, I think this is one of those use cases where this would be something that you could use. Uh, and so this is what we're going to do. And I don't have any tools with me, although I'm, I've got access to plenty inside. I just come out here with just the box. What's in the box? And uh, that's it. And uh, although I think there's going to be a couple of tools that might come in handy, I think for the most part you can do this without them. And we're going to see how that goes. So let's give it a poke. Now, as you can see, that's this old piece of Americana. It's a 1990s Ford F-250. It's got the standard issue old single-den radio up here. No Bluetooth connection or any of those fancy things. Um, actually, that radio does have Bluetooth, but we're going to pretend like it doesn't. <laughs> All right. So, in this vehicle, you can see we have this nice flat location right here. That's actually perfect for this. 
Now, even if we had the factory stereo in this old truck, this setup would work just fine because of its multiple ways of hooking up. So if we set that right there, you can see that if we took the adhesive off the bottom, we could plant that sucker right there and we would have access to a screen in this whole truck. Um, now, what do we need to make this function? Well, we're going in the box now. Since you guys have already seen what comes in the box, we need this here power cable, which is quite long. So, if you've got to route this thing around somewhere, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this would easily come out of here and then go over and to the edge of the dash and around and then come back underneath. Yeah, you could easily route this where you need it to go. So, we, uh, we'll take this and plug it in back here. Like so. And we're going to need uh, the camera and we can use the aux cable. This radio has an aux plug on it. We could also use the FM transmitter. <laughs> but, and this aux cable is long also, so it's it's got plenty of length to be able to go all the way over there and come back underneath the dash and or inside and come out, you know, different routing solutions. So it would work just fine. We'll plug this thing in. And then we've also got our camera. We'll set that back down. We've got our camera for the back. We'll undo that. Go. And so we've got our camera plug, and we've got our trigger to turn the camera on, which this wire right here would get connected to uh, the positive to a backup light. So you can find the fuse box in the vehicle up under the hood or up under the dash and find the backup light fuse. Add a piggyback to that and connect this straight to that fuse. And th that should uh, trigger this on and off for you. That's how that would work. Let's see. We'll lay this up here for now. Not going to run that just yet. And this is all there. It's just not properly ran. So if we turn that around, we'll get an idea of what we can do with this. Now, this would be your pen drive connection. And this, I'm not, I don't remember what that's for. I think that's not important at the moment. So this wire, once it's ran around and comes back around, will connect to the aux in. And then this guy also, once it's ran off over there, or whatever side tucked in all the panels and come back underneath and all that would go to a power point. I don't know if it's any good or not. No. Let's fire this old girl up. She don't get started much. I'm gonna let her sit and run just a minute. It looks like our unit powered on. That's a good sign. Ah, look at there. So this is what we're greeted with when I first started up. Uh, and it says, start recording. That's what we got. That's, that's, that's what popped up here. So, um, 
Okay. Oh, now, now it's doing something. Uh, okay. So... I'm figuring this out with you guys, so don't, uh, don't shoot the messenger. Hmm. i do that again. See that. It keeps putting this on the screen kind of in front of everything. Uh, wow, okay. got the camera up on there but it's still got that I think it's wanting me to put a card in there it doesn't have a, uh, a storage card in it so it won't it won't do a whole lot it doesn't want to do anything uh, without that little box is not going away I did manage to get that camera up And, uh, and it's showing the camera. Uh, it's camera, but now it won't. Uh, oh, the box finally went. Oh, and it came back. Awesome. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. Um. So you got, yeah, so, um, there we go, there's a radio, um, uh, so what do I think about this? Um, it's got potential use cases that makes this kind of a device make sense. Um, being able to add it to a factory system and use it, uh, connect it to your radio via FM or via the aux cable. So there are cases where this is going to work for somebody very well and solve their problems. The problem I have are several. First of all, this device did not come with any instructions at all. Not even a little tiny nothing. It, it there's no there's no QR code to scan to find instructions on how to use the device. And when you go to getting into the software of it, you really do need instructions, especially if you're not uh, someone who's tech savvy. I can work through this and get it to work. But the average person would be struggling and probably pulling their hair out. The second thing was the QC, quality control. The, 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 the mounting pad on the bottom is essential for the operation of the device. And uh, I put this pad on here correctly. It was on upside down and a whole lot of the pad was exposed. So there's not any real stickiness to this. It's not going to stick to anything. 
because of that was exposed when I got it. You saw it in the first clip. So it's and useless. I don't think that's the way a customer should receive their equipment in a basically useless state. Without that adhesive on the bottom of this, you know, all you can do is screw it down. And if you've got a newer car that, you know, or that you want, or, or a nice car, a decent, you know, car, you don't really want to screw this to your dash, you know? So there's so many points about it that just don't work for me. Now, could I put together a using it review that made it look good? Yes. But that's not my style. That's not how I do things. Um, it didn't come with instructions. It came with a, a, a badly uh, done mounting pad, so the mounting pad was useless. When I got into the software and started messing with it, it has like a 10 second delay after you push a button before it does a thing. All right, so here's the device. Let's just push something. Uh, you hear it? Then it goes. All right, let's push the house. Wait. There it goes. All right, don't move. Now watch. Push. And wait. See how long it takes? And it doesn't leave this. Push and wait. That's just ridiculous. And it never leaves this screen. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's looking for a memory card or, or whatever. The point is, that's what the experience is that I get. I don't know why I get that experience. That's the one I get. Uh, it's unresponsive. It's confusing. There are no directions explaining what to do. So there's no memory card. There could be a, a little small memory card in there, and that way that wouldn't happen. There's no instructions telling you it needs to have a memory card. There's also... No labels on anything. There's nothing back there. Okay, there is. Yeah, so there's that. Whatever that says. It's still not very helpful. There is an AVN. That's for the camera. There's a Type-C. And... Whatever, that says GPS. So that's actually for the GPS, not the aux cable. See what I mean? This is it's so confusing. And uh, I just... Is there a memory card in there? I don't think there is. It's There's no labels on any of these wires. Um, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh, the product itself is lacking, the implementation is lacking, and the packaging is lacking. The QC was lacking. If you're going after one of these products, I cannot recommend this specific one because it's lacking in every way. And a full disclosure, this was sent to me to review, free of charge. I can't give it a good score. <laughs> Sorry. Honesty is something that I stand behind, and I cannot give this guy a good score. Now, if the device is working, what it'll give you is a front camera and a rear camera to monitor traffic and act as a, you know, a, a DVR recording device dash cam and rear dash cam as well as a backup camera which is something that a lot of older vehicles don't have which is good uh, it also gives you the ability to play media on there uh, like to mirror your phone screen on there and you could use it for mapping for you know you know for driving uh, and running a map up there so those things are all good the problem is the implementation 
without being able to to attach it to your dash, you know, that kind of completely runs the whole operation all by itself. That's a super important thing that was carelessly done. And um, I just don't give that any credit there, as well as not having any instructions in there as to how to install it or what to do. I can't give a pass on that, you know. And then the delay, when you try to use the controls, it takes forever for something to come around. Is that a problem with this unit? Maybe. Is it a problem with all of them? I don't know, but I don't like it. Um, so, guys, the, the, the product itself, this particular one, and this particular configuration, I can't give it a good score. Uh, something like it may work fine for your uh, setup, but I can't recommend this one. And I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna stoop to the level of of uh, giving something a pass when I know that it shouldn't be getting one. So if you appreciate my realistic uh, and uh, truthful reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I'm not going to pass anything that doesn't please me. If it's broken, if it's not working right, if it's not a good product, I'm not going to tell you it is, no matter what. Now, I just ruined my relations with this company, but it is what it is, man.